Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's Elon Musk hints that he's working on a master plan part 3. Tesla still dominates US electric car market, and it's not even close. Tesla Giga Berlin releases official schedule for Model Y delivery event on March 22. And, Tesla drops the price of one of its most popular products, the wall connector. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently revealed something extremely exciting, that he is currently working on Master Plan Part 3. Musk's Master Plan, two of which have already been published over the years, outlines his primary long-term goals for Tesla, as the company evolves from a simple startup automaker to something much more. Musk's first master plan pretty much flew under the radar, though it did reveal the company's strategy for the coming years. Written in 2006, Musk's master plan part 1 discussed how the company intends to enter the affordable vehicle market by gradually evolving its lineup from expensive sports cars like the original Roadster to more affordable mainstream vehicles like the Model 3. Master Plan Part 2 came 10 years later, a time when the company was already producing the Model S and Model X vehicles. Published in 2016, Master Plan Part 2 still highlighted that Tesla intends to enter all vehicle segments like heavy-duty trucks, pickups, and passenger-density urban transport. However, it also emphasized the importance of Tesla Energy and its solar products, as well as the value of advanced driver assist systems, like Autopilot. Musk also touched on the idea of the Tesla network, which would be possible once autonomous driving is achieved. Needless to say, Tesla has not completed Musk's second master plan yet. While all the goals highlighted by the CEO in his first master plan were met with the launch and ramp of the Model 3, the goals indicated in Master Plan, Part 2, have proven to be far more challenging. Vehicles like the Tesla Semi and Cybertruck are still waiting to be produced, and the solar roof ramp has been rife with delays. The deployment of FSD has made some progress with the FSD beta program, but true autonomy still seems to be a distant goal. This does not mean to say that Elon Musk's Master Plan Part 3 would be ill-timed however. Musk definitely has a vision for Tesla, and he knows where the company is going. With this in mind, and while details of Master Plan Part 3 are yet to be released, speculations are abounding about what Musk's third grand plan would entail. Some TSLA bulls that have watched the company for years have suggested that Master Plan Part 3 may involve Tesla's transition to an artificial intelligence and data company. A focus on AI is not far-fetched at all for Tesla, considering the company's projects, like Optimus, and the wealth of data it is gathering from its fleet of vehicles every day. And it doesn't even have to be limited to electric cars only. With products like its humanoid robot, Tesla's AI projects could expand to a variety of industries. This is something that Musk seems to be quite excited about, as hinted at in a recent post on Twitter. The CEO highlighted that he has so much respect for those who do honest work in creating useful products and services for their fellow humans. Working hard to make useful products and services for your fellow humans is deeply morally good. I have so much respect for the associates doing an honest day's work at Tesla or SpaceX, building and servicing cars, rockets, Starlinks, batteries, solar, and many other things," Musk wrote. Moving to the next update, Tesla still dominates US electric car market, and it's not even close. New registration data show that Tesla is still dominating the US electric car market, and it's not even close. Something is going to have to break for EV adoption to accelerate in the country. For years now, Tesla has been dominating the electric auto market in its home country. It is expected that Tesla's hold on the market will erode as more EV options hit and help grow the US market, but for now, the US EV market is still extremely dependent on Tesla. For the entire year of 2020, Tesla vehicles accounted for 79% of new electric vehicles registered in the US. Now new data has come out for 2021 as part of a new report 
based on registration data from Experian, and Tesla is a bit down, as expected. But, the company still holds a strong majority of EV market shares in the United States. According to the report, Tesla still holds 69.95% EV market share in the United States, with Nissan coming in at a distant second place, with 8.51%. Tesla is leading EV sales in every state, except in Alaska, where the automaker has yet to open a service center, but it recently launched its first supercharger in the state. As you can see, all other automakers have a lot of catching up to do. Fortunately, several of them have new EVs launching in the United States this year, and we expect to see several companies, especially Ford and Volkswagen, grow their EV market shares in in 2022. The US is going to need those other automakers to ramp things up, as you can see here, the EV adoption rate is still awful in most of the country. But Tesla is also not going to slow down either. The automaker is expanding production at Fremont Factory and starting production at Gigafactory Texas. While some of the additional production is going to be exported, Tesla is expected to still grow in the United States. As we reported earlier this month, Tesla is seeing its order rate surge in many parts of the United States, following the significant increase in gas prices. According to Tesla's delivery timelines for new orders, the automaker is still enjoying some large backlogs for almost every version of each model. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Berlin releases official schedule for Model Y delivery event on March 22. Tesla Giga Berlin is preparing for the first Model Y deliveries, scheduled for the end of the month. Tesla's electric vehicle factory in Germany will hold a special Model Y delivery event on March 22 for employees and first customers. Gigafactory Berlin's Model Y delivery event promises to be a smash, with celebrations literally written on the schedule. The Tesla event will commence with arrival and reception from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., Registration is scheduled to start from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Attendees will get a factory tour of Giga Berlin from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. During Giga Fest in October 2021, Tesla noted that it aimed to produce one Model Y body every 45 seconds with the support of an army of robots. It would be interesting to see how close Tesla is to its goals for Giga Berlin. After the factory tour, a few key figures will speak to the guests. Tesla announced that some of the key decision makers for Giga Berlin's final approval will be attending the event and briefly address guests. Tesla also teased that Elon Musk might make an appearance at the event. Musk attended Gigafactory Shanghai's first customer delivery event and even treated everyone to a dance performance. The community can only hope to see a follow-up performance during Giga Berlin's Model Y deliveries. The main purpose of the event, the Model Y handovers, will start at 1.30 p.m. After handing over the key card, one of our employees will drive you and your companions back to the event area and park the car in formation with the others, Tesla said. Tesla also noted, whenever you want, we will drive your vehicle off the premises and leave the steering to you. Unfortunately, for safety reasons, it is not permitted to drive yourself on the site. Please report to the first owner's tent, and one of our Tesla advisors will be happy to chauffeur you to the exit. Tesla announced that customers could choose the music for their vehicle's official debut in advance. And with Tesla's frunk and trunk, there's no telling what other surprises could take place during the Model Y handovers. For instance, a marriage proposal was one of the highlights of Tesla China's first delivery events. After vehicle handovers, Tesla plans to take a group photo with everyone at the occasion. And then, finally the party begins. Moving to the last update, Tesla drops the price of one of its most popular products, the wall connector. The price of Tesla vehicles are going through the roof, but the automaker has managed to reduce the price of one of its most popular products, the wall connector. Tesla's wall connector, which is used as a home charging station and for the automaker's destination charging network, is a very popular charging station due to its price and power capacity. For the longest time, 
it was sold for just $500, which made it one of the cheapest home charging options on the market, with a significant capacity of up to 11.5 kW and 48 amp. Like most Tesla products, especially its vehicles, the price of wall connector went up to $550. Tesla, like the rest of the auto industry, has been under supply chain pressure that has been affecting pricing. Now, Tesla is surprisingly dropping the price back down to $495 in an update to its online shop. At that price, the only other competitive chargers price-wise are home stations, like the Grizzly Level 2 EV charger. As the number one solution for home charging for Tesla buyers, the Tesla wall connector is extremely popular. There are hundreds of thousands of units deployed around the world. In order to offer some different looks, Tesla released new charger faceplates that match its car colors last year. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.